All right, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm talking about my favorite upper back and trap exercise, the snatch grip high pull. Now, I want to say this was in like 2012 when I first came across them, but over the last couple of years, I've really started hammering them. So I was reading an article by Steve Pulcinella. I believe that was his name. It's whoever owns Iron Sport Gym, if anyone watching this knows who that is. And he said when he was younger on his shoulder and back day, this was a staple. He'd always start with that. He'd do five sets of three with a really heavy weight with straps because he wasn't trying to train his grip. Which brings me to my first point. Always use straps on this, always. Because it's a really wide grip, you'd end up turning this into a grip exercise and severely limiting the amount of weight that you can put on the bar, which is the opposite of what we want to do right now. I strictly do this for my traps and my upper back. I am not trying to do these to become a better Olympic lifter. I'm not trying to train the snatch. I have no plans ever of training the snatch. So this is what you're trying to do it for. Ignore all my advice because I know it's not proper form for Olympic weight. Grab these with a really wide grip. I suggest to start off index finger on the ring if you're already familiar with doing snatch grip deadlifts. If not, I would say pinky fingers on the ring. Now, it all depends on your arm length and your height and everything else, so you're gonna have to tinker around with that. You just wanna make sure it is at your hip level or iliac crest, if you know what that is, somewhere around there. You want it above your junk, your guy, and I guess if you're a girl too, and below your belly button. That's where I suggest it should be. Now, once you've stood up with it, you wanna keep the bar close to you at all times. Now, a big mistake I hear, I see from this point, is people will just drop down and jump up and move the bar, which is great if that works for you. I personally don't think it would work for anyone because you're losing all muscle tension and the barbells just fly. I simplify it a lot, but there's just a little bit more to it than that. Mistake number two, you are not pulling with your arms at all. Your hands are hooks, just like a deadlift. Your biceps should not be sore. Your forearms should not be sore. If you decide to ignore my advice and not use straps, your forearms will be sore. So use straps. Mistake number three, oh, not really a mistake, it's more so a preference. A lot of people drop down all the way to their knees and then reverse and come up. I'm not a fan of that, I'll describe my way later. If that works for you, stick with it because it's not right or wrong, it's just a preference. I typically aim for the weight to pass sternum nipple level, somewhere in this range. Okay? Some people do them way too high and some people do them way too low. If you can only get it to your belly button or like your lower abdominal, you're going way too heavy. But if, that, if it's accomplishing what you want, go ahead. I'm just saying, I think you're going way too heavy. And if you're going to your chin, I've seen Olympic lifters do it like that. Like I said, I'm not doing this for Olympic lifting purposes. So what I like to do, once I'm stood up in that position, I just like to bend my hips backwards, like a Romanian deadlift, but I'm not allowing the bar to drift down at all. I'm keeping my lats tight up against my body because I want this thing close to my body at all times. I don't want when I fling it up to then create like a crescent moon shape and come away from my body. I want it up against my body at all times. Not dragging up, but very close, one to two inches away. So as I bend over, I'm keeping it tight. Then I violently thrust my hips forward as I then come onto my tippy toes. I can't believe I just said tippy toes as a grown adult, but you want triple extension. So you want your hips, your knees, and your ankles all to extend at the same time. This will keep the bar forward. And now as the bar is moving up, I like to imagine that I'm rowing it. So I don't want my hands to be down like this. I want them to kind of be like this. It's as if I was doing a very high row. Get the name, high pull high row, that's the way I like to think about it, okay? Now, it might look like I'm basically external, externally rotating my shoulders, but that's just a facade. That's just what it looks like. It's just an illusion. That's because I'm kind of rowing it into here. It's not that I'm actually moving the weight like a reverse curl, no. I'm just pulling it into here. If I kept pulling it up, my hands would stay down, which is really not something I want. Long story short, as long as you are feeling it in the traps, it's not bothering your shoulder joints and in the side and rear delts and a little bit of your mid back, you're doing it fine. So let's conclude this video. Snatcher pie pulls are my favorite 
trap upper back exercise ever. Do them correctly. Always use straps. Always, always, always. Don't try and show off your with your grip. Work your grip somewhere else. This is not the time for that. Keep the bar close to yourself at all times. Tight lats and what you want to do, bring your hips back, violently thrust it forward as you kind of roll the bar into your body. This might not be 100% technical. Actually, I know for a fact it's not 100% technical for Olympic weightlifting. But like I said in the beginning of this video, I don't ever plan on being an Olympic weightlifter. I don't claim to be an Olympic weightlifter. This is just for my traps and upper back. So if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like it as well. If you have a question for me, please drop them in the comments. And as always, class is dismissed.